NFL is coming to a close, and I've got a good one for you. The Baltimore Ravens are taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers this Sunday, December the 5th. The new promo code for this week is CHAMP. C-H-A-M-P saves 20% off the entire PicksandParlays.net site. My name's Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and I've got the professor, Dan Kaiser, with me today. How's it going, Dan? Gone good, gone good. Rocking and rolling. All right. It's what I like to hear. So talk to me about this one. Ravens are at the Steelers. Ravens minus four and a half. The total is 44. What do you like here? Yeah, well, you got to like an NFL season when right now there's only like two teams that or at least at least the Detroit is technically eliminated. You got to like that. You know, it uh, gives a lot of excitement coming down the stretch. Uh, you know, and th- you look at this game, the Ravens and Steelers, you know, and AFC North. Uh, clash between you know with some a bit of rivals, and you know usually this is one of those uh, can't miss games that you have to watch. But again, I but I do like playing this game. I just won't watch it. Uh, I, I like the Ravens in this one. Baltimore's won two in a row. Haven't looked really good doing it, but Pittsburgh comes into this game having lost uh, two in a row, including an embarrassment uh, to the Bengals last last week. So Baltimore comes in that kind of banged up in the running running back position. Uh, They've been hurt uh, uh, all season. The offense of so, uh, key players, wide receivers, have been in and out. They, uh, but they still find ways to win, and then that's the, kind of the key in this one. You know, their defense, their defense uh, is play, is not the same defense as it was in years past. It's not the, uh, you know, the Ray Lewis led uh, defensive teams, but they they do enough, and the offense does enough to get wins. And they're going to get this Pittsburgh team that's dropped the last two games to the Chargers and Bengals. Uh, their defense will get some starters back in this one, but that does doesn't fix their fix their offensive problems. You got Big Ben, uh, who looks more like Stonehenge sitting in the pocket. His arm and abilities are uh, basically the ghost of Steelers' past. Uh, I just don't like I don't like the Steelers. They haven't looked good. Uh, ben ha- doesn't look good. Uh, and as bad as not as bad as the Ravens have played, but as bad as they've looked and not winning convincingly. I'm only laying four and a half against the Steelers team that just can't seem to get out of their own way. So I'm taking the Ravens and uh, cashing the ticket when it's over. Stonehenge was so the perfect analogy for Roethlisberger. I I love me some Steelers. My whole family's from Pittsburgh, but it's just not it, guys. It's just not it. I don't really see another way I could play this game. I mean, I could convince myself to take, you know, a favorite team with points at home, like a a personal favorite team with points at home, but but I just can't get there on it. So that's what we're going to roll with. Ravens minus four and a half when they play the Steelers on Sunday. Dan, what do you got lined up over at Picks and Parlays in the way? of premium plays for the rest of this week yes yeah, championship weekend in, in college football so you know that i'm putting a lot of focus on that you know there's some uh, some good plays out there some uh maybe some surprising plays out there so all right well i love some surprises so look for dan kaiser at picks and until then we're rolling with the ravens minus four and a half against the steelers